Yo, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I got wow, it's cold. I still have not insulated the shop. Um, I've just been hunting too much to seem to find time when to put all this wood on these walls and insulate it. I know I need to get it done, but I've been hunting my butt off and making videos for you guys. But yet again, it's 3.15 in the morning and we are gonna be headed way east actually, an hour way. That some, for some of you, you travel an hour or two every time to go on big, good big hunts. But 45 minutes is pretty far for me, an hour is even farther. Oh, and by the way, check out that early riser khaki hat. Oh my lord. They are available, link in description. But like I said, it is 3.15 in the morning, got an hour drive ahead of us. Cleaned the gun, it, it was extremely dirty. It actually had some bark in it, so I'm glad I cleaned it because as most of you know, it sucks getting to the field and your gun misfiring, jamming, doing something stupid just because you didn't clean it. It was just one of those last minute things. I was like, man, I need to get that done. If I don't do it, I'm gonna regret it. Which that leads me to my next question for you guys. You guys have been asking to see my gear, you know, how I get ready the night before the hunt, what I pack, what do I, what do I put in my blind bag, what's my camera equipment. If you guys want to see me do a loadout video, let me know down in the comments and I will try to get that done ASAP. Oh my goodness, but as you can tell, it's extremely early. I'm extremely tired. We got an hour drive. We got to go by the quick shop and get some caffeine. And yeah, so we will see you guys on the road. Maybe at the field. Probably at the field because it's really cold and I'm going to stay in the truck the whole time. As long as I can because it's extremely cold. And there's gonna be a, like a 10 mile an hour north wind. Maybe 15. I think it's already 12. Let's go. This is where we're gonna sit. Right there is where the kill hole is and then we string it all the way going with the wind so they come up the pipe right in our face. If that made any sense, I hope so. This is one heck of a feed. The roost is just north of us, about a mile. So there's a lot of hunters in the, in the area. There's a lot of outfitters, a lot of guides in the area. The farmers have got hounded all week because this big group of snows moved into this area well we are set up boys the roof just got up i don't have my big camera let's get ready holy smokes look at all these birds here they go yep here they go boys once the first six players were shooting i'm gonna try to let them all as far as i can Well, the big wad came earlier, went back to water. Now they are back up and flying, but they, it's really early in the morning still, and they don't want to get down very well. We got decent wind, as you can see, the socks are dancing a little bit, looking pretty good, so they ought to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of older birds here. A lot of adult birds. Man, they don't want to get any lower than that. What in the heck? Well, first dart coming in here. Got a whole group of darts might be interested. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Whatever, Bev. Well, we got birds flying and we got a bunch of... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna shoot, not, I'm not gonna shoot the people, of course, but I'm gonna shoot the birds. They must not want to kill anything today. Oh yeah, here we go. They like it. Here we go. Now they like it. Get him! Woo! He dead! That boy dead too! 
Nice shooting, boys. They're coming back. We better hurry. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Do something. Yeah. Try them. Yeah. Nice. Oh, demon in Christmas. Nice. Hey, good boy. Good boy. You are my boy. Good boy. Yes. These uh, single snows that do this, man, they just eat it up. They want it. Watch him. He going. He ain't leaving. Go! Back four. Oh, I fall and I can't get up. Hey, lift up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Shoot him! Nice! Nice shot! Yeah, buddy. Two more cans. So, I want to show you this, guys. Uh, remember, I don't have my vlog camera. I apologize. Got to use a GoPro for everything. But, we're on a cut corn field here, as like you see. Uh, look at this. So, literally, it's completely froze. The trick is, find where you want to throw your decoy down. Move all this bruh or move all this top layer and see that see that crack boom look at that it goes right in little tip for you right there so guys on these big spreads where we're sitting we have them packed tight so we blend well and then out here where it drags on we scatter them got a lot more space in between them so uh on these big spreads like this you want to make them as big as possible you know when you have 1500 decoys and before you set them out, you're like, oh, this thing's gonna be a mile long. But then when you get them here, it's not as big as you would expect. Yet again, got caught. I really wanna catch a, a goose, a falling dead goose. Woo, nice! Why couldn't it fall? Why couldn't it be in over here? I could have caught that thing, man. That would have been perfect. Well, that's all she wrote here, boys. We are uh, picking up. Teardown on these big spreads obviously goes a lot faster than sitting them up, especially when the ground is completely frozen. It takes forever to get stakes in the ground. Luckily, these are bases, so it makes it a little easier. Well, this is what we got. We got 15 snows and eight Canadas. Not a bad one. He's trying to interrupt me again, like usual. He's cool. So this is for all my new viewers that have not grabbed one or if you just forgot about them. Boom, boom, boom. Check that bad boy out. That is the Freedom Cupped Ducks hoodie. But here is our Early Riser hoodie as well. If you guys haven't grabbed that one, it is available. All these hoodies I will link in the description below. I just want to show you some of them hot boys. There's another big duck's head hoodie there in gray. And this is one of my absolute favorites. It's the camo brown duck's head. And let me tell you, it looks money. All these hoodies will be linked below. Go to the website, check them all out. Especially if you haven't. Hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. Get your hubby, get your honey something. Make it special. A gift from ducks is probably the best gift that you could get your spouse, you know, better than a ring, better than, better than about anything, I, I would say. But you guys know the reason why I show you these hoodies. A lot of you guys love our stuff, and plus, and plus, if you love the content, each item that you guys purchase goes directly to helping the channel keep making content, keep hunting, and keep putting up dope hunting vids. For you guys but it is a beautiful morning and I'm getting ready to leave the house go do a bunch of scouting because I am snow goose hunting this evening as a lot of you know snow goose hunting you got to scout in the morning hunt in the evening that's about the only way you have luck this this hunt you just watched was a morning hunt and we learned a lot from that don't hunt mornings scout them in the mornings hunt them in the evenings because snows jump and jump and jump every day they jump fields every single Day. But thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it a ton. All you new subscribers, what's up? I see all you guys. And if you like this video, please drop me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have it. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.
Guala, 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 guala I'm living like it's no tomorrow Don't know my style, won't let you borrow You're thirsty, have a glass of water I'm killing these beasts, that be more dead I put my 